if a human is suffering somewhere around the world, I have a moral responsibility to, to respond to the situation. My name is Anjomo and uh, I am Executive Director of Center for Social Integrity. We have two umbrella in our organizations. One is peace building social cohesion and the other one is responding to humanitarian crisis. So Center for Social Integrity is founded together with other Bush Fellows in 2016. I hear about the traumatized uh, victims, the, the kids and the elder people. I'm wondering you know, if there's any way you know, I could uh, take part to support those uh, underserved people. In the LLF program, he mentioned that he wanted to establish a local NGO. You know, we really promote peace and nonviolence. It's all about humanity. It's all about respecting human rights. He is making a difference, yeah, and I believe that he is uh, offering hope for those uh, who are in uh, challenging situations. It was uh, something uh, extraordinary in a lifetime. It's a wide program, an intensive program that gives you a lot of leadership capability and negotiation skills. It's a bunch of amazing people, young leaders. I didn't expect that this kind of group exists in Myanmar and, and, and Bush Center were able to choose these people to be part of that program. The quality of the program is extremely high, I'd say. One of the topics that I have enjoyed is uh, the pluralism, how Amer America went through pluralism and how the society were capable um, to accommodate people from different faiths, different religions and still enjoy the democracy. One of the goals of the organization is to promote that diversity, being different in, in fact in terms of race, religions and ethnicity is a source of a strength rather than fighting, how we can convert the threat that we see being different into opportunity and make the society better and peaceful. When we are aligned at the basic principles, it doesn't matter whether it's a Rohingya or any other minority group. It's all about building trust. And that's what we really needed in those conflict areas across the country. Unless we get a chance to talk to each other and understanding each other more, we will never get there, you know, building a peaceful society. We have been uh, assisting internally displaced people in Rakhine State. So those civilians were stuck between two armed groups and we were bringing humanitarian assistance. We have reached so far to 80,000 people in three months. There is a huge complexity in the conflict. Uh, so most of the NGOs doesn't want to get involved local NGOs due to the fact that they will be seen supporting uh, Muslim there and, 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 and supporting Rohingyas there. So as a founder of an organization like this, we feel morally responsible to bring aid to those who it needs. Everyone has the right to live in safe and secure place. But there are a lot of people out there who are losing their basic rights. So I'm really honored to be part of uh, CSI to regain their productive life. I think it's time for Myanmar, each Myanmar citizens, to, to rethink where they want to see their country. And each of us need to think how we can, we can make this country better for everyone. <laughs>